and welcome to another Dave Does video and today we are checking out some Bloody Wood and the song is Yard. Ah, uh, this is Indian folk metal. I have checked out a few Bloody Wood songs before and I really like them. Haven't checked out much in over a year. Uh, so based on what they've said here, Yard, Hindi for remember or in memory is about the power of accepting loss of a loved one and moving on. The lyrics celebrate the permanent impact they have on us, reiterating belief that we carry them in our best memories no matter how far apart we are. Uh, I'm looking forward to checking this one out now. It seems a very long video, so 10 minutes and 15. So uh, we'll see how this goes on, because I'm not obviously expecting it to be that long, unless it's like maybe, I've seen on a couple of videos, they've done an outtake thing at the end, so maybe that's what they've got here, but we'll find out. All my other blurbs will be done during the video, so let's get on with this. This is Bloody Wood and Yard. Count it in. Three, two, one. As long as we were together Do you remember when 
Cause I said I would love you forever And you thought it would only last as long as we were together Hi guys, this is Karan. I want to thank you for watching this video. Yad, which is Hindi for in memory or remember, is a song about overcoming the loss of a loved one. As a dog owner or a pet owner, it's a certainty that at some point of time in your life, you will be faced with the loss of your pet. Along with that loss is accompanied a lot of emotional trauma, but also a huge sense of guilt where you'll find yourself asking whether you did the right thing, whether what you did was enough, whether you could have done something differently. And if you're going through something like this, through the song, we want to let you know that even though there's a void that they leave behind when they go, they also leave you with a gift. That very rare exceptional gift is knowing and experiencing unconditional love and forgiveness. And we want to tell you that the only way to honor their time in our lives is by imbibing those values within you and giving back as much as you can. Okay, now don't skip this video. There's something really important I want to talk to you about. India has a huge homeless animals population. Literally everywhere you look, you'll find homeless dogs on every street and every corner. They end up suffering road accidents, extreme starvation, diseases, and unfortunately, a lot of human brutality. There's not much that's been done in terms of animal welfare, so it's up to us to do as much as we can. Now, amongst us live heroes who really champion this purpose. They're basically not-for-profit, non-government organizations that are run by animal lovers. And one of those organizations is the Posh Foundation, where we are at today. Posh Foundation deals with rescue, rehabilitation, adoption, and animal birth control of these homeless animals. Very recently, the van that they used to rescue these animals broke down due to overuse and became completely un Usable. So from the money that we made on Raj Against the Machine tour last year and through Patreon, we funded this new van to the Porsche Foundation. Now this van, which they'll be using as their new ambulance, will take a total of 10 to 15 calls each day. And it's going to run for at least 5 years. So that's a total of 27,000 animals potentially saved. That's a huge number. It's by far the purchase that we're most proud of. We want to thank our patrons for sticking around with us and making it possible for us to do this. And that's it from us. If you like the video, if you like what we do, please share this video. It really helps us go a long way. And if you really want to support us, the best way to do that would be through Patreon. Uh, you can head over to patreon.com and donate any monthly amount that you see fit. Uh, and join the amazing family that makes all of this possible. So we'll see you very soon with the upcoming documentary and the next song. Until next time, we love you all. Thanks once again for watching till the end of the video. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. We're behind, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, behind the scenes, behind the scenes. And I'm expecting any day today. Sure. Can I be the godfather? Yes. Or am I the father? Sahel, 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 oh Sahel. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone.
जल्दी 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 बस 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 हो गया हो गया ये कैच behind the gift and that okay what was that <laughs> The white dog did that. Yes. They they don't like each other. Ne. Hello, boy. Asking permission, Jay Dorit. Na. Hello, boy. Ye to main pehli baar dekh raha hu. This is the most asking permission in India. <laughs> so you think you're metal? Are you this metal? Fucking do it. Okay, so that was Bloody Wood and Yard. Um, it's a really cool song. Uh, I'll put things up on the little whiteboard, talk about the dynamics of the song. So great build-ups going into sort of nice breakdowns. Uh, talks about loss. And initially when I started, like, uh, I read the little bit at the bottom. It said the music video is shot in between the snow-capped mountains, the Himalayas and urban India, and shows the, the use of a bond between a man and a dog to highlight its message. And I kind of was just like, well... It's odd for a video to take that stance about man and uh, or man's best friend and uh, the human bond connection. Uh, usually they'll talk about the loss of a family member, your partner, etc. in one of these videos. So I was struggling a little bit with the message about how it's going to make it tear-jerking. Unless you've actually lost uh, an animal. Um, I, I have, so I, I understand that feeling and it's... Uh, uh, do you know, it's one of those ones I talked about uh, with a friend of mine the other day about the loss, and it's actually sometimes you feel. You, I, I see when a, an animal loses its owner, I feel more for the animal at that point than I do for the owner who's lost the animal. Because I think humans, we can, we cope with loss. We're used to it. We're, what, it's one thing we have to deal with constantly. From the time you're a school kid, you always deal with loss. You lose your childhood. You lose your, your school. You're always change. There's always change. So we can always adapt. We can change. But with dogs, I think dogs, you can clearly see when they're unhappy. Um, and it's always a tearjerker. There's a bit in a um, a cartoon, and it is a cartoon. So, but it's one of the most tearjerking cartoons you'll ever see. Futurama, where Fry's dog, uh, after he gets taken into the future, uh, anyone that knows what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below. But that is a real kind of pull on the heartstrings kind of thing, and it's uh, yeah, well worth going to check out if you've never seen it. But I can I love the message at the end. Uh, Details of which are across the bottom of the screen, or should be if I've put, posted them correctly. Posh Foundation uh, down the bottom, which is the one they were at there. If you want to support, uh, please head on over. Give them some support in there. Um, yeah, we don't want dogs to be uh, killed or maimed. And yes, there is a control of lack of control of dogs, but they are animals that need support. And uh, if I was over there, I'm sure I would try and adopt as many dogs as I bloody could um, but uh, in the UK I can't exactly bring uh, sort of the hundreds of dogs back to the UK with me but uh, please do support great song though really great message from the guys and I love their humor at the end of the video where they were showing behind the scenes stuff and how they did it and uh, I love they wear their hearts on their sleeves and it's uh, a great video and a great song uh, but if you like this video please do subscribe hit the bell icon like share leave the comments down below and remember that of course is how Dave does it <laughs>